This DVD is on pummeling. If you are a grappler, you know that you have to have pummeling. There are five parts to pummeling that this DVD will include. Number one will be head, two will be neck, three will be chest, four will be bicep, and five will be the wrist. All of these are used to get inside control. Okay, so the next one is called passing. In passing, I'm gonna pass the arm by either dragging it or pushing the elbow. So when I have the bicep control here, I'm gonna either take it, I'm gonna bring this hand down, and I'm gonna place this. And when I do it, if I just drag the elbow, sometimes it's okay, but look how long it takes his body to go, whereas opposed to the shoulder, his whole body comes to me. So when I take this one, I'm gonna place it down, I'm gonna punch this hand through real fast and uppercut it, Take us back real quick. So we're gonna go to the other side, same thing. Okay, from right here, I'm gonna grab his shoulder, punch his up, and bring it down and pass, and take his back. Notice the arms already blocked. You can see where I'm gonna throw him this way, or I step to back throw him. Okay. Again, so he reaches, grabs me, grabs, okay, take it down, bring it and pass it. And goes the other side. Take it here, punch it pass. Okay. The other way is I go like this. I go like this and I try to go here and I can't pull it, so I just push it. And I do the same thing. I do the same on the other side. I try to pass, but I can't, so I shove it. Back. Because sometimes from here, when I bring the elbow, see how it starts to come back? His elbow starts to come back. I just push this. But if he pulls it back real hard, I push the other side and he gives me my way in. And the same thing, if I drag this here, he brings it back, I redrag the other side. And if I drag this, he pulls it back, I shove the other side. So I can go either way, I can mix it up. So on this one now, when he controls my biceps, he's gonna arm drag and take my back on my body. I'm gonna give it to him. And same thing, he's gonna push the elbow, push it, to see how that opens. But sometimes when they reach up to a control, I'll push it off. He does it again, I'll pull it down, maybe reaches around, I'll block and push it. He grabs my body, I block, I push the elbow to get the back. Take the bicep control. Brings it down, drags it. Key on this, look at his elbow. If it's open here, open it up wide. Pull. I have a redrag. Okay. As soon as he pulls, he uses his weight, pulls my arm. Uh, I like to focal point the floor more so, so when you're pulling up, you put them coming down and it gives you the back more. So for training, you have pull behind you, pull behind you, and pull towards the floor. Like that gives you the back. Same thing, pull towards the floor. So he uses it either way. And the hand, the faster it punches and retracts, the faster he gets the arm drag. So, again, from right here, the faster this hand doesn't reach, but it punches. Controlling. That's it. Faster on the punch. And push. Double push. Again, the key is this. Puts his hand on me. Okay. Puts his hand on me. Puts his hand on me. Bicep. Come out. So you control the bicep, come out to the wrist. 
Control the bicep, hold me. Come out to the wrist, clear it, and touch it. Grab bicep, wrist, control. Okay. And the other is I could go here, see how he's pulling it, and then push it, push it across center line. And opposite. Slow motion. Push. Pull. Push. And sometimes right from here, I just, even though we were here, I just push his elbow. Over here. Push. Push. Okay. And it's good for door control too. If you're walking someone out the door, it's time to go, you control their elbow. You control the wrist, control the elbow. Okay. If he shoves my elbow, I can return it like that. Do it again. You go over and return it, or go under, under and return it. Go push. I can wipe it and return. Do it again. I wipe it and return, or if he shoves it up, I go under and return it. Okay. So these are ways you could strip the elbow, and also if he arm drags me. Okay. I can step wide and clear the space. He does it again. I can redrag and take his back. He does it again. I bring my head in and take his hip and take the seat belt. Again. Again. Clear your hips. Elbow block. Elbow block. And redrag. Hip movement. Hip. Form. Three drag. Head. In. These are all counters to the arm drag. Okay, this is another pummeling drill you're going to do, and it's leg pummeling, and that's when somebody gets your back and gets their hooks in. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stay in a quarter position. He's going to get his hooks in. I'm going to take his legs out of play. Then it's easy to turn him over. So if I'm in quarter position and my partner happens to get his hooks in. Okay, for this drill, all I'm going to do here is I'm going to stay and post on my hands and keep my weight on my head. Okay, so for right, hip, for right now, I can post up or I can stay down. If I stay down, it's all about keeping my base. So I'm just going to bring my leg back and bring it back in. Leg back and bring it back in. He re pummels. Leg back and then back and then. So we turn. From right here. Leg back, out and in. Out and in. Comes back in. One more time. Leg out and in. Out and in. Comes back in. I post high. Same thing. Out and in. And out and in. Now, usually when I do this, I come up, I post out, and then out and in. Now look where he's at. I hook and drive, then come on top. Second way, he's on my back. Now, I try to do this, but he claps his feet together. So I can't take this out. Okay, so again. I try to do this, but he keeps his feet together. So I get here, and I can't get it out. Oh, what am I going to do? So right from now, I'm going to try to do it again. I'm going to bring it out and bring it to the outside of this foot. Bring this from here, come up, bring it out, and bring it into here. Grab his leg, pull his leg down to the side. He holds me, stays on top. Now from right here, I reach up and I grab and pull this in. I post my leg high. I start to shimmy my back, push, pull his head down. And have it up and pass him and come out on top. 